previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Ah. Now, miles off. Oh, it's raining. I've seen that for a while. Oh, do you know why? What an idiot I am. Have you just realised what I've been doing? I've been trying to get the pin on the truck, the, 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 the wrong blooming thing. It's over there. The last 10 minutes have been a complete waste of my life. It's this one over here. Oh, what do you like? Okay, so we're back with my continuing adventures on Euro Truck Simulator. So, let's see where we're at. I can't remember where we're at, actually. It feels, do you know, it feels like a very long time ago, even though I did that. And we had a little bit of a, a carry-on incident, didn't we, last, last week? Um, as everybody kept commenting on, I kind of I tried to, to, to get the wrong trailer. <laughs> so, all this and grommet, kind of wrong, wrong trousers kind of thing. Where are we? I can't even remember. Paris, that's where we are. We're in Paris. Um, Paris, the, 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 the land of the Parisians. Right, we are looking for another job. Um, we were going to go for, we've made some money this time around, and we're trying to get back to Bordeaux, because the idea is to get back to Bordeaux, um, visit the DAF garage, which is here somewhere, I have no idea where it is though. I'm guessing, is that it? I can't see it here, but it's, apparently there's a DAF garage in, in Bordeaux. I'm, I'm guessing it must be here, that must be it. So what we're going to do is, because we bought a garage in, in there, is we're going to try and get back and get a daft truck. So that's what we're going to try and do, so that's that's the plan. So we need to get out of here, have a drive around, see if we can find anywhere to get a job from. Which is plenty of places just down the road, because this is where we went to the other day. Lissette's uh, Logistics, and what's this, a vault value cuts or something? Value our cuts? Something like that, anyway. We'll see if we can find one. We need to find one that takes us back at least close to Bordeaux. So let's go do that. Because we're going to go with this, with the daft truck approach to, 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 to one of my, um, or to my new, uh, new, uh, new, new sort of garage. Right, okay. We've got some money. We've got 662,000. That's probably enough to get us um, a relatively decent truck. So let's get started. Um, which way are we facing? This, that's the way we want to go. We want to go that way. So a little look down the road. We'll be all right getting out here. So we're full of diesel. We're full of we're full of sleep or oh, full of sleep. Wrong way around. We're wide awake rather than full of sleep. <laughs> wide awake, full of sleep. It's ridiculous. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go down here and to one of these there. And truck going across us. Go speeding a little bit there. Here we go. So should we go with this one? No. This is where we this is where we drop. No, it's not. This is this is the value loads. No, that's the sets, isn't it? Hang on. That's a garage to buy, sorry. Lissettes. Lissettes? Lissettes. Logistics. So we'll avoid them, because that's where we dropped off. We've been there before. Let's go this place around here, on the roundabout. And we're going to head that way. I was, uh, do you know something? I can't. I, I'm glad you enjoyed last week because I, I thought I wasn't sure that it was the, one of the better episodes, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed the the, ep the, the episode because um, I would I just made so, I, I spent I was a good three or four maybe five minutes trying to trying to hook up that trailer that wasn't right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, spewing out um, countless sort of uh, um, carry-on movie uh, uh, sort of uh, 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 you know wordings and tropes and things like that. I was yeah, I was having I was having a, a funny old time. Right, let's get in here. Let's have a little look around the yard first. Yeah, okay. There could be. There's the most likely to going to be the things. I wonder if there's a car transport we could take. Let's have a little look anyway. See if there's anything that takes us in the right direction. Let's uh, click the button here. Let's, oh, lots of places. Right, okay. Oh, car transport. Toulouse. Where's that? Is that near where we want to be? Where's Bordeaux? Bordeaux's there. Mm. Tempton. I'd really quite like to take cars. There's only nine tons of them as well. I've never taken cars before. Nuremberg? Oh, completely wrong way. I, to, I want to be in France. Nope. Le Mans. Oh, that's just around the corner. Um... I think Toulouse might be the one to go for, actually, here. Let's take the cars, because I quite fancy that one. 31000 for the cars. Why is that one so cheap? Oh, because it's not urgent. I guess this is fragile? Important? 
and high value. That's why it's so expensive. This was just a um, urgent delivery of scrap metals. So we'll go with this one. That's fair enough. We'll do that, and we'll 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 get this load, and we'll take it there. So I'm gonna check which one it is. It's that one. <laughs> <laughs> learn my lesson from last time. It's in Bay 5, 6, sorry, Bay 6, Bay 6, Bay 6. We'll get some cars. Cool. I don't think I've ever taken cars before. I'm quite excited. Right, okay, let's swing us around. Now we've got um, the um, sort of uh, advanced parking on. So basically, we have to hit the central pin of this truck with the central pin on this trailer. Which sounds very easy, and I can't see because I've run the wrong way. And I've got it first time round. This is what I was trying to do the other day with the with the with the with the wrong trailer, um, and I've failed completely miserably to hit the uh, what's known as the fifth wheel. It's the coupling in the centre of the truck um, to the to the pin, which is the bit in the centre there. And um, thank you for everybody who taught me a bit about trucking. And those are the, the official type the names for it. Um, lots of comments on that. Thank you. Um, in, I, I'm I'm not the I'm not the I'm not brightest on this, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I got some a lovely compliment the other week um, from from saying that. Uh, I was thinking a little bit more like a truck light driver. I think that was a week, couple of weeks ago. But uh, the, when I, I sort of looked at the, the space I had to park in it, and there was no space, and there was there was sort of plenty of space in the car park, and I I made the adjustments so that I could actually do. Um, the sort of the, 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 the run itself and sort of park it easier. So I made I used all the car park because it was there to be used effectively. Right. Okay. So we have do a quick rundown here. Saturday morning we're meant to be arriving at eight um, eight. 29 a.m. down there in the bottom right. Oh god, I've... oh god, naughty me. I should go around the roundabout. What am I doing? Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> looking, not looking, not concentrating there. Right, round down. 8.29, at 8.29 a.m. we're going to arrive, 454 miles, terrible bit of driving there, that's not how you do it, but it is, uh, and it's 11 o'clock at night, it's naughty, I was a naughty boy there, I should have gone round the roundabout, and, and just decided to cut the corner, and, but at least I didn't rip the, uh, the, the signpost out, I was so bad at this sometimes, okay, 31, I stuck that into the cruise control, we're at 31 miles per hour, uh, 9 hours and 30 minutes, that should be alright actually, and based on our, our sort of, our general sort of, if I press, oh god, if I press F6 I can see how long I've got to sleep, I've got 10 hours and 40, um, 40, 44 minutes before I need to sleep, when you press the F6 key it tells you that information, that's me mucking with the map, there you go, 10 hours and 43 minutes. So we should be able to do it within with a, with, a, with a single drive. Let's get us up to speed. Let's get through here. I don't, don't think it's going a route we've been before. It's getting us close anyway. Back almost back to to to. I need. I think we need two hundred thousand for a decent DAF truck. What do you think? So we'll get this one. It's a thirty thousand. Let's hope that our our drivers are doing it. I'm wondering about drivers though. Um, I, I don't know what you 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 guys think about this, but I bought a five star driver, and my five star driver isn't quite generating the income I thought they would generate with with the with the load. Um, and whereas the ones where with like one point sevens and the point sevens and all this kind of stuff, they're actually making me more money because I'm not paying them as much because they're not what's known as a five star driver. And I don't know how people, other people, do it. Do they just go with the full five star and straight away and just assume that that's going to be the best, or do they build up their drivers? So, so, so my drivers are getting better with practice. So you get them on a training course to do better distances and things like that. I just wondered if that was uh, what, what what people's thoughts were on that. Was it is it better to go with the to generate more cash? I suppose once you get to a point where you're generating lots of money, it doesn't. I don't suppose it matters anymore. Um, but but it it just it just just dawned on me that that that, that maybe I'm making a bit of a mistake there, going for those more expensive drivers in the initial stages of the game. Don't know. Anyway, no overtaking. Here we go. Now we've got to follow through this straight on. It's going to take us on to this air road. It'll be an air road, Doubt 31. That's it. Stuck the old cruise control on at 31. Take us smoothly round. Oh, 
on to the road, the main road, 33, just drifting up because going downhill, of course. We're just working out, winding our merry way. Wasn't there a wasn't there a carry on movie with truck drivers? Do you remember that? I'm sure it's carry on. Well, was it carry on truck driver or something like that? I'm sure there was one. Maybe I'm thinking of some other thing that was very similar. There was a lot of movies of that era. Um, or those that so I say that era, the '60s, '70s, and early '80s. I think they may have even drifted into the '90s at some point. The carry on movies. There's lots of them. Must have been twenty or thirty movies. I'm sure of it. But but. Uh, so they yeah they drifted into these things and they were kind of it was it was a little bit it was a little bit of it was at the time it was a little bit of titillation and uh, sort of you know innuendo was 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 the was the was the the, the order of the day back then with the, with those movies um but didn't they drift oh somebody's oh god he had a, he's had a crash oh god what a terrible crash what happened there um. Yeah, so so it was the order of the day, um, and I'm sure there was one with a truck driving in. I know it had Sid James in it. Maybe I'm wrong. If you can remember what it was called, comments. You know where the comments are. I'm sure there was one. We're coming into two lanes now. Signs the head. Calm down. This car in front of me is properly slowed down. Not necessary to slow down that much. Must be through the outskirts of somewhere now. I would see. I was going to say Paris, but I don't know because we've got some some street lights, some some houses and buildings there. Okay, we're on. We're 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 getting. Hopefully, these guys are going to speed up a little bit. Are you going to speed up? Do you know what? I'm going to overtake you. If you're not going to speed up, I'm I'm going past you. You can just stay there. I'm staying on this road anyway, so this is the one. Oh, look, that's that's lovely. Oh, that's because I've not uh, I've turned the cruise control off by mistake. Yeah, I seem pretty scared to be travelling at night for some reason. Don't know why. Don't know what 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 what's what why 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 or maybe because they're coming off at this junction possibly. Coming over. Locked it at uh, 57 in the cruise control there. Turned off the uh, one of the other features I've turned off. So we've got the advanced parking um, for or advanced coupling um, element of it. I've also turned off the uh, the speed restrictor. So 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 I can do a little bit more than the 56, which they're, they're all they're all limited to. So so I'm just going to let that drift down again to 50, 50, 50, 56, 56, yeah, 56, 56. So we're locked in at 56. That's the speed. Ah, toll gate. And with speed is 50. I still forgot to get that auto thing. Damn, 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 damn. I must go get that. Keep forgetting to do that. A little car here. I'm just moving so I can see the mirror, so I can see where the front of the truck is. Just drifting in here slowly. Right, so my turn to get in here. So we can see in the, that mirror at the top of the screen there, top, top, almost top right there, where I am. And I just push the button for the toll, and it's in, and we're away. Somebody working tonight as well. 12.45 p.m. I'm just going to come over here into this lane. I've often been cut up on here. I, I have done. It's just one of those things about it. I don't just just uh, computer cars get really excited. Now I'm told that if I look in the workshop for Paris, there is actually a a um, a one that brings in the Eiffel Tower. Oh, thanks, thanks. I haven't tried it. I, I'm afraid. I'm terrible for doing this. Playing these things stock. I, I, I the, there is very few games I've ever actually um, what, what I would call modified with something external to it. The only time I ever modified a game was to to add to the gameplay, which of course that really is as well, isn't it? Doing that kind of modification. Um, but the one I the modified, the one I remember modifying way back in the day was a game called Diablo, and there there's a there's a one called something of blood. I think I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, and basically what it did is it gave you gave gives the characters the ability to auto regenerate their health 
um, as well as um, what was the other thing it did? It kind of mixed up the mazes a little bit more. So 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 that was the mod that was the mod of choice for me. That was the one that I actually did did actually install. Didn't use an awful lot of them to be honest. I, I've, I've been a PC gamer for oh since the 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 sort of I don't know eighties uh, end of the eighties. 89, I think it is. The oldest file I've got in my, my backup of all my files is 1989. Um, so so I, we'll go, go with 89. Uh, it's the year my dad bought his first um, um, full, what you'd call PC, with DOS and whatever else it is. He bought, a, he bought a, an Olivetti 286. Uh, it's, that's going back a bit, isn't it? At the time, it was uh, very expensive. It was for his work as well. Um, two and a half thousand pounds, I remember that. Stupid amount of money. For that kind of money at the back then, you could have bought a car. Brand new car. If you change it to today's money, I'm sure it's a lot of money, actually. It's probably six grand. Seven, six or seven grand. But, uh, yeah, he bought that for work, so it was a work tool. And uh, it was a 286. Enjoyed that computer. It was a good computer. Had VGA graphics. So, so, so we had... Um, what was the maximum resolution it could do? It could do 800 by 600. Wow. Imagine that. That's like the corner. That's the GPS on this game now. <laughs> that was the level of its graphics. You can't imagine it really, can you? Going that far back to sort of gaming. I do. I feel the need to overtake this truck. That's a bit of a quick manoeuvre. Oh, there's lights behind me. Ease off, ease off. 58 miles per hour. I think I'm coming off at this junction as well. So that was that was lucky timing. Yep. To lose. I don't know anything about to lose, by the way. Not a thing. Not a not a place I've visited before, and not a place I know. I felt like I was dragging a bit there when I was going around the corner, but I can't really see because it's so dark. With the tr with the with the, the night at the moment, it's uh, it's one uh, fifty eight, nearly two a.m. I just feels very late, and and I feel like I'm a bit sort of I, I, you know two a.m. now on a Saturday. We're due to get in, still reasonable time. We're doing quite well, actually. We've got six hours and um, 43 minutes to go. I have 323 miles. Let's just get back up to 56 miles per hour. Sorry about that. I'm just drifting there. Lifting the cruise control and control. Six hours and 40 minutes. It's a pretty, pretty. It's a pretty nice. It's going to be a pretty nice run. I would say it would be pretty much straight line. We're not. I don't think there's going to be anything particularly exciting along the way. We're just charging our way through. All right, there we go. We'll look. We'll look at 57. We'll be cheap. We'll have that extra one mile an hour. We're just pushing down the road and our, our extra one miles per hour. Yep. Very nice. Down to 50. I'll put lock it at 51 again. It's funny, isn't it? It seems like the same road, and yet we're dropping down to 50 miles per hour for it. It's the, the thing about driving at night is just weird. It's not. It's not a bad thing, but but it's extremely dark. It seems this time round. It's not. It's not. There's no. There's no real. You know. It's not. There's no. It's. It's definitely dark this time round. You got. You got the few. Uh, you know. Sort of uh, stars in the sky, but it's a dark night tonight. Some nights the the sky is you know sort of lit up with sort of colours and things like that, but tonight it's just a very dark night. It's a good job we had a rest beforehand. We, I mean, this is one of this is one of my. Uh, you, this is a journey where where we're gonna push the time. Um, we're not gonna push the fuel because we've got plenty of fuel. Must repair the truck at some point because we've got a fair amount of. So it'll be tire damage mostly. Rest stop on the way. 
it's all right. We've got our cool box in the uh, in the in the uh, in the truck in the cab. I was looking at because um, you know I said the other week I'd seen the, the Volvo thing with the uh, Jean Claude Van Damme, and I put that in the link in the description below. By the way, if you hadn't seen it, so so where where uh, Jean Claude Van Damme did uh, the splits on two mirrors of two um, uh, uh, globe trotter trucks, I think they are. And they kind of slowly separate, and he slowly does the splits in between the two, and it's only like a minute and a half long. It's um, it's kind of cool, but but uh, so he did that, and so uh, of course then I've now got Volvo things popping up on my YouTube um, sort of things that I'd looked at, and it popped up with uh, uh, and one of them must have been one of their American trucks, and uh, it's literally like got a house in the back of it. It's got the entire cabin with the sort of reclining beds and televisions, and and then a set of stairs to climb up to go to your bunk when there's a bed down below. As well and the, a large refrigerator built into uh, I was almost going to miss that there because I was busy talking to you large refrigerator built into the wall um, sort of cavities and I was like this is just amazingly large I've never I've never actually been in a truck that big I've been in a, I've been in a I've been in what was a Volvo it actually was a Volvo that I'd been in I've been in a Volvo before but I've never been in a truck that large and I just thought I was just amazing I have actually got I've got a customer who does who has some Volvos and the, the ones with the, like the long nose on them um, so maybe one day when I'm up there, I'll, I'll see if I can blag a, a, a journey in a in one of those trucks for the fun of it. It's gotta be gotta be worth a try. Seventy five dollars, seventy five euros. Does it, euro dollar? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a dollar. So seventy five dollars. Okay, on we go. Yeah, see if I blag a blag a trip in a in a in a in a big Volvo truck. I mean, it was like a, it's like the, the monster ones with the as I say with the nose on them. It was very blase, by the way, about driving out there. Did you see that? I just tr trundled out and didn't even have a check in the mirror to see if there was anybody there. I just sort of sort of get went with the flow and just went with it. Right, up to 55. 56, sorry. And we are 264 miles away. 5 hours and 28 minutes. We are making extremely good time. This hill's a bit steep, though. It's taking a bit of effort to get up the hill. We've only got 9 tons of car. Come on! Only nine tons. We should have fly up the top of there. I was watching uh, uh, another video about because um, uh, I've, I've said mentioned this before. It's a game I quite like. The Mud Runner is a really good game from Spin Tires. Really enjoyed that logging and and sort of driving trucks in mud. It's a brilliant simulation of mud, realistically. Um, but the new one is out, and I didn't realise that it was out. And it's actually on um, Epic uh, stored at a store, and I don't have Epic store. I don't. I'm, I, I don't like to have too many stores, so I only have the sort of couple. So I really should have another, maybe the Epic store. But um, I've heard that it downloads Fortnite, and I don't really want Fortnite by default. Can kind of you get the Epic store and you get Fortnite? And I don't really want Fortnite. But anyway, so um, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's just a, one of those rumors that float around that's not the case. But anyway, um, you, you, you. But it, Snowrunner is the next one to it, and I really want Snowrunner. I awful want Snowrunner an awful lot, but. Um, I don't can't be bothered to install another um, digital distribution service on my on my computer. I know it's free and everything, but I just can't be bothered. I just want to wait until it appears on on Steam. So so I suppose I've got another another couple of months to wait realistically, unless they've got an exclusive deal forever with it, which I can't. I, I find really annoying actually. So. Um, if you're going to do digital marketplaces, so oh, yeah, I get it. It's exclusivity is the the major thing. It's what consoles do all the time, isn't it? Oh, it's exclusive to Epics. Must buy it from Epics. Oh, I say Epics. It's Epic Games, but but anyway, you know, I don't, I don't mind. But just a bit, just a bit annoying, really. Because um, I'd like to try that one as well. I think Snowrunner will be great fun. I've got my. I've also got my bus simulation, which I haven't even. Tr I haven't been on bus simulator thirteen. I think it is. Is the the, the thing? I think it's two thousand thirteen. I think it's thirteen. Um, I believe there's another one coming. I've got train simulator as well. I haven't even tried that one. I was quite fancy to be a train simulator. I think that would be cool as well. But um, too busy driving other trucks. This and truck and logistics simulator, which is the crazy man's version of delivery. This is if this is the professional version. That's the crazy man's version. For a start off, you're not going to be jumping these trucks. However, to be fair, I have seen the there's kind of like videos, isn't there, of people playing on the the, the the online servers and doing stupid things with them flying over the top of stuff. Not intentionally though. 
I'm just rumbling through the countryside. The sun is starting to break now. It's 4.15 a.m. The sun is starting to, start to, to sort of edge into the sky. The sky's got a lovely sort of bluey colour now. It's all very gentle and happening sort of right now. It's lovely. It's really nice, actually. It's really nice indeed. I'm enjoying this journey. It's a nice, smooth, gentle journey. Um, with, you know, there's not, there's not, there's, uh, apart from a little bit of stupidity at the beginning. I, I don't know. I don't get into my head. You know, I always start these videos with the best of intentions, and I do something like that. At least I didn't try and get the wrong trailer again. That could have been bad. Yeah, a bit more carry on. Oh, look at that. The, the, and looking in the, the, the rear view mirrors there. You can see the, the sort of uh, the uh, sun starting to, to, to rise. Must be heading uh, west then. Because the sun's rising. It's always in the east, isn't it, when it rises? If it raises the other way, I think we're going to trouble. Because I would assume the planet was spinning a different direction. Or if you're Earth flatter, somebody's turned the light bulb round, possibly. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. There's a bird in the sky there, just starting, starting the, the morning. Some kind of a bird of prey, sort of floating around there. Sorry, scratching my beard actually. I just, um, I give it a bit of shave earlier and sort of reduced it down quite a lot. And it's just a bit itchy. Just make. I quite like. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this run. It's just a gentle run. It just feels really gentle. However, to be fair, when we headed across from Bordeaux to to um, wasn't it was Paris, wasn't it? it? Was Paris that we headed to? When we headed from from Bordeaux to Paris the earlier the the, the last episode, it that was a pretty much a once we got onto the main roads, it was pretty much a straight run. It was just kind of you know get on there, do the run. No no windy roads, no weird and wonderful stuff. None of the stuff we got when we went into Italy into Corsica, Corsica, Corsa. I've got the wrong. I may have got the wrong place, but we went off to the sort of teeny little islands, um, just off the the, the coast of, uh, of, of of France and and Italy, and we went into there, and they were they were the kind of they were they were they were busy little um, sort of little islands. Realistically, they were they, they were and and quite a surprise and beautiful at the same time. And even though I ran over the pavement and crashed into a few things, as I like to do, because that's that's me for you, but. Uh, Okay, we're, we're just charging through the countryside now. Little tunnel through. 56. Yeah, if you're not gonna not gonna move, then I'm gonna go around you. See you later. And just watch that coming up on the inside there. Do they still have concrete in in the the the, the, the uh, central reservations? I always thought concrete was a no-no nowadays, because basically impact on concrete is is kind of that's it's all encompassing and sort of death related if you hit a, a concrete barrier at speed. That's why they use these sort of modern ones that kind of give way. You can see them as wire as well, can't you? The sort of wire ones as well. What they do is they absor absorb the the impact slightly. Have I upset that truck there, coming back in too quick? I don't think I have. If I did, I'd apologise. No, I don't think I have. What are we going across now? Ooh. Pretty bridge. That'll be where the pedestrians walk, though, just, in the, just to the uh, just to the left there, and obviously on the other side, the right-hand side. Pretty bridge. Three hours and two minutes to go, though. 142 miles been a gentle and a smooth journey quite enjoyed it so far and we should have enough money after that's gone through to to, to, to to head to Bordeaux I might see if we can find a quick job to take us to Bordeaux but but I, I will see how that pans out don't know we'll see what we can do because Bordeaux's our home of our new one. One, one a nice, uh, one, some nice daft trucks is what we want. A nice daft one. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a. I think we can buy them online now because I've got five trucks. When you've got five trucks, you can buy them online. You can also hire staff online, so we might hire the staff online as well. We can just do that. 
hire the staff online. Truck truck will be uh, will be um, will be definitely a visit to the to the to the to the actual um, place. Excited about that. There we go. Passing a rigid. As I keep on talking about these. Basically, it's rigid axles from point A to point B. Oh, oh, God! I might upset him there. I was drifting a little bit and watching. And we're just trim, trim just, just working our way through the, the countryside. It's brilliant. Morning's coming up. Six a.m. We just met some income from one of our drivers. That was very nice. 11,000 from driver Thomas. Thomas P. Oh. Yeah, you can stay there. Can't there's a car underneath me. I was going to... Was, that was nasty. Didn't expect that. It came right up underneath me, that. 43. Right. Watch that mirror again now. Make sure we're right in there. Morning. Morning. All right. How you doing? Good day. It's going to be a cracking day, I can tell. Look. The sun's going to come up. And we drift in here. I love that mirror. Never really used it before. And I now really like it because you can see where you're at. And there's that... Uh, there's that tanker that we had before. Come on, tanker. Don't oh, yet. Yeah. Oh, God. He's letting me go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, he's... He, as if I'd actually crashed into him. Really? I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to plough on anyway. Just gently working our way... winding our way through. 102 miles to go. Two hours and ten minutes. Might have to take a wee wee. Might have to put a little break in this for in it after I've done after I've come to a halt because uh, the old uh, mobile phone is making sort of honking noises. You know, uh, uh, noise. Oh, a helicopter! Cool. There's so much they can do with this. They can fill out all kinds of roads and things like that. They can enhance it in so many great ways, this game. There's just so many things they can do. And I know they're redoing the uh, um, heavy cargo as well. They're making newer heavy cargo. I think that's brilliant. You've got to love this game. I, and you can tell they love this game, by the way. You can tell this is a well-loved game. The, the people who work on it clearly love this game. I'm very responsive, I guess, to the community at large. Something that's formed for them over the last good eight years and since it's come out. I've actually got the first Euro Truck Simulator. Not this is because obviously it's two, um, but I've got the first Euro Truck Simulator. I'm quite surprised that, uh, that you know, it's interesting they didn't enhance that. I guess that maybe they had the wrong engine on it. I've I've seen I've seen a lot of complaints about uh, the, the fact that it uses a certain. Is it direct certain direct X and and they 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 wish they would use a newer one or something similar? I don't. Think, I, do you know what? If it plays this well and works this well, what, what the hell are you messing with it for? You don't need to mess with it, particularly. You know. Right. One hour and thirty-five minutes, seventy-two miles to go. We're doing very well. Working our way through the countryside. It's beautiful. Yeah, come on over. Because these guys are going a bit slow. Let's uh, pass this little lot. Done a lot of passing this week. No, I used to be quite reluctant when I first started playing this game. I was quite slow and I was quite reluctant to, to, to overtake stuff. I'm less so now. I'm less, less worried about it. You know, I, I just know that I need to overtake it. Good old caravan. On a van. A caravan van. There we go. Looks like a VW van. Just make sure I'm well past before I go on. Can I come over? Can I come over now? There you go. Just coming on over. 
Little side road there. Teeny little side road. I wonder if there's any... Is there any secrets to hide to, to some of these things? Or do you just get locked out of those? Because I've never, ever tried turning into one of those roads that are there, that are open. Can you just drive off-road? You can to some extent, can't you? But but can you can you just drive off-road? So if I turn down that road there, would I, would I just be able to drive down it? Don't know. Never tried it. So I'm just I'm just speculating. Okay, I, I'm going to assume that to some extent you can drive where you feel like. Can you? Maybe. Don't know. Okay, we're working our way through the countryside. We are. Where are we at? We are 58 minutes out, 41 miles away. I want to overtake this little lot quick. And car coming up fast behind me. Am I got to stay on this lane? Yeah, I do. To lose, look. There we go. To lose. I'm staying on this lane. Yep, yeah, here we go. We're staying here. You can stay there as well, computer car, so you can stay exactly where you're at. Yeah. There's a huge decrease in speed here. Yes, because the speed limit changes. Whoa, down 31? What? Couldn't believe that. 31 miles per hour. I suppose so. I suppose we're, cur we're curling down uh, onto it to join another, join another motorway. I see it was a motorway. I'm guessing the the French versions are version A, and I'm not sure what that'll be in French because it's autobahn, isn't it? In uh, in in German, but I don't know what the French equivalent of that is. I think that's what it is generally. Right, okay, back up to 56, and we'll stay in this lane, and we'll go to Toulouse. We are 20 miles out, uh, 31 uh, 31 minutes. We're going to get in at 8.39, it's only 10 minutes later than originally estimated. We're coming up to a toll, if you look down there on the GPS, it's like there. We're coming up to a toll. Excellent. And we're just gently pushing on. 50 miles per hour. Pay for our toll watch that mirror again as we zoom on in here and yeah, wait for these cars morning 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 how you doing nice watching there we go right watch that mirror watch that mirror watch that mirror we're in 59 euros cool Yeah, come on, move out of the way. Let's have a look in this mirror. Just keep an eye. Oh, do I have to come off at this one? Oh, I do. I'm getting tired. Am I coming off at this one? Yes, this is the right one. I was a little concerned. Something about these roads just always gets me a little bit... Um, I get myself spun round in these roads. Oh, look, we're desperate for tired and sleep now. I must have ran on time-wise the, the, over the speed I originally thought I was going to get there. We just we, we can get in here really quickly, get parked, and we're laughing. Okay. We've discovered Toulouse. Bon voyage achievement getting built up. There's obviously 29 cities in... in, uh, in, in in the French region to visit, or 29 locations. So we've obviously driven for 10 hours. Slightly longer than we thought we were going to do. Okay, and up we go. Oh, look at this. We're getting into the city, across the bridge that crosses the motorway that we've got there. Speeding a little bit, getting excited, you see, about my destination. We're almost there. I can smell victory. 
I can smell it. I'm not sure how I can smell the victory. Unless it's a cup of coffee. I haven't got coffee, actually. Where's my coffee? I haven't got a coffee. I normally have a coffee for these these events. Oh, well, fair enough. We've not got one right now. Okay. Gently. Gently, 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 gently. Just make our way there for the last few seconds. We are zero miles away, four minutes out. Just a case of passing wherever we are. I'm going to come through here. Uh, come off at this one. Come to some traffic lights. Discovered a, tr a, a, a recruitment agency. That's fine. Oh, look. Fire truck. That's cool. Watching the mirrors. Lovely. Straight over the K pave pavement. Ah! Oh, missed the blooming turn in Avena. There's a roundabout. I can go back. We'll go back. Missed the blooming turn in. Yeah, it's, it's just said that to me. I can go around the roundabout. Yes, I know. Missed it. Too busy chatting. Look at that time. Look at that timing. Proper exhausted. Come off at this one. And then round here. Past this. Looks like a show, show, car showroom. There we go. Turn the lights off. Nearly nine o'clock in the morning now. Okay, I think this is our destination here. There, that B B H V. There's a man cleaning the windows. Right. Ooh. Another man cleaning the windows. They're all cleaning the windows. Very dirty windows. Right, let's have a little look. So, where should we park? Yeah, let's give it a go. This is going to be interesting. This is one of the smaller car parks I've probably been in. Let's have a little look and see what we've got in the way of space here to work with. So, this is very similar to that car park where I spent the ages trying to reverse and park on one of those. Okay, that's the spot I need to be in. Let's, uh... Let's use all the space we can we can get our hands on. So let us just bring us right round here, and then let's use as much space as we can. I'm going to use it all. Right, let's have a little look outside. Doing a little bit, doing a little bit, doing a little bit blind here, but we should be all right. Okay, let me just. Uh, jump back in the cab. Let's try and just uh, shuffle it a bit further over here. Let's not do knocking the crates. Okay. It's just out of the way with the wheel. I'm getting tired finding a place. To oh, oh, very tired. Ooh, slow down. gently does it come over a bit just push it forward there just a little I think I'm just a touch too far over oh my god I'm in first time do you know what absolutely take that I know it's not perfect but but do you know what it's good enough not really over the line either. If you look at it, I'm not over the line because there's no other line. There's no white line. I'm not sitting on a white line here. So um, let's press T for trailer. Let's go with that. And stay couple. And then we need to find somewhere to sleep here quickly. And then um, I'm probably going to have to call it a day with this episode. I do apologise. So we're definitely daffing next week. Um, but because uh, we'll, we'll, we've done we've done plenty. So we're definitely daffing next week.
that's a good that's a good one actually did really well on that very pleased with that run that's a good set of money in the bank as well it's 200,000 right let's find somewhere to park quickly um so i can so i can end this episode appropriately um yeah let's go there do you know why we're going to go there? Because it's where I can get an auto pass from. So let's we'll see if we can do that quickly before the end of the episode. Let's do that. All right. So you've seen it. Before we get there, before we get, before we go anywhere else, let's just jump back in the cab. Let's go. Whoosh. Driving away. Oh, rain's coming on. Yes. That put that on there. Yeah, yeah. We know. We know about the. We know it's tiring. Lovely little narrow roads there. Okay, round the corner. And we can go get an auto pass from here. Assuming it's still open. It'll be open now. It's not Sunday or anything. Or Saturday. It might be open on Saturday. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Because sometimes they're not open on Saturday, these these places. Oh, look at this. Rain on a sun Sunshine on a rainy day. That's what it is. Sunshine on a rainy day. Rainy day. There we go. Renault trucks. Ah, no, it's not quite what I thought it was. Ah, but they've got a garage as well, so I can alter. I can definitely do that. Okay. So now I know about this Renault dealer. That's another dealer off my list. And they will we'll let us park there. It's a good job I've got a Renault as well, actually. For the night. Should we do that? Should we park and then do the thing? I'll tell you what, I'll line up to, 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 to park, and then I'll do this. Let's see if we get this auto park thing, because I need to repair the truck anyway. It needs a needs a bit of a repair after the, the amount of damage that I've... I, uh, I'm going to sleep first. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that kind of did it for me when I saw that, when I saw it doing its, its thing there. There we go. Right, okay. Let's press the button. Let's go for a sleep. Get some rest! Oh, damn, though. You know what I've just done, though? I've just bypassed the time, haven't I? You, 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 you're probably all shouting the screen there, because now I, I can't... I won't be able to access this, I don't think. Oh, I can! Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, okay, maintenance. Services. Right, there's four grand's worth of damage. Mostly tyre damage, as I said. There's a little bit of transmission, a little bit of engine. Nothing horrendous, if that makes sense. So let's repair that. Okay. And then... Let's have a little look and see what's in here. Now, somebody said there's an auto pass. Now, where would the auto pass be? Is it accessories? If I type the word pass in here, what happens? No. Maybe it goes in the window. Maybe I click on here. Portable GPS. No, it's not that. Ooh, where would it go? Would it go on the window over here? I don't know where this would go. It's been really weird as well because I can't keep swinging back. That's a license plate. Huh. All right, I don't know how to do that. You can tell me in the comments below what I meant, what I meant, to, how I meant to be ordering that in the repair part. I might be completely wrong. Anyway, in the in the meantime, I'm just going to reverse this back in here. And we'll we'll call it a day. Um, thank you for watching. Sorry that we didn't get around to doing the, the daft truck this this time round. Um, maybe, hopefully next episode because we've got plenty of cash in the bank now. We're looking really good for it. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Generic Demon. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.